Okay, in this class we are going to discuss about the loss conservation. Okay, loss conservation of momentum. Loss conservation of momentum is important to the point of your examination. Many times it has been asked for a five marks. So first you have to write the statement. Okay. Uh, they used to ask state and true law conservation of momentum. So first you have to write the statement and then you have to write proof. Okay. So what the statement says? The total momentum of an isolated system is conserved. Total momentum of an isolated system is conserved. Conserved means remains constant. Total momentum of an isolated system remains constant. Isolated means that should be free from the external forces, external forces of the surrounding forces. That is what the isolated system. In a simple way, if you want to say means, just consider the two bodies which are moving in one direction. So, which are moving in one direction means that complete system has some momentum. Complete system means both the body, momentum of first body and momentum of second body add together, we can call it as the total momentum of the system. After certain time, both bodies were going to collide with each other. When the bodies collide with each other, their velocity will change. Okay. After collision, if we calculated the total momentum of whole system, means the momentum of first body and momentum of second body, then the sum of those two momentums means the momentum of whole system after collision will be equal to the total momentum before collision. Okay? Simply, you can say that whenever the two bodies undergo collision, then the total momentum of the system of two bodies before collision is equal to the total momentum of the system of two bodies after collision. Is it clear? That we need to prove now. So for that, just consider the diagram a body A and the body B. These are the two bodies which we have considered. And uh, they are moving in this direction with initial velocity U1 and U2. U1 and U2 are the initial velocities of the bodies. Okay? M1 and M2 are the masses of these two bodies. After certain time, we are going to get collided with each other. They are going to collide with each other. When they get collide with each other, what happens? The body B is exert force on the body A. That I will write as a force on A due to B. Okay? If two bodies hit each other means this body is going to exert force on this body and this body is going to exert force on this body. Okay? Right. So next, on body B, the force will be exerted by the body A and that I will write it as WBA means force on B due to A. Okay. After collision, the time of impact uh, after the time of impact of collision, again they will move into the belief. After that collision, the body A will pass in M1. Now the constant here is going to move with the velocity B1 and the body B will pass in M2 is going to move with the velocity V2. Right? So now just look here. If this body has been collided with this one, 
its velocity decreases and its velocity increases right after colliding the velocity of this body the body which has been collided the velocity decreases than its initial velocity and its velocity increases this point should be clear okay so now when they get collide with each other the force on a due to b force on a due to b that is just for a b which is acting in this direction b is going to exert force on a in this direction that is Yes, A B. So that will be equal to we know mass into acceleration. Yes, means mass into acceleration. Okay. So now force is acting on body A. So that's why the force acting on body A is equal to mass of the body A. That is the M one and acceleration of the body A. Acceleration we can write it as V one minus U one divided by T. V one minus U one divided by T. body b due to a now here the force is acting on the body b so the force is equal to mass of the body b that is m2 and acceleration produced in case of the body b so that is v2 minus u2 minus velocity of b minus initial velocity of b divided by time now according to newton's third law according to newton's third law here the two bodies have been collided So collided means how much force body A exerts on body B, the same amount of force will be exerted by the body B on the body A, but in the opposite direction. Is it clear? So here, whatever force acts by the A will be equal to force acts by the B, but the direction of force is opposite to each other. As you can see here, I have shown. So force on A will be in this direction, and force on B will be in this direction. Is it clear? Okay. So then, the magnitude of the F A B is equal to magnitude of the F B A, but the direction is opposite. That I have denoted by minus. So in previous class, we have studied the Newton's third law. There, the F is equal to minus the F we have done. According to my formula, I have written this one. Yes, A B is equal to minus yes B A. Is it clear? Now substitute the values for yes A B and yes B A. For yes A B, now the new one is two C one minus C one divided by that I have written here, which is equal to minus of yes B A. So yes B A B yes two. Into b to minus b to divided by b. Okay. So look here. This b will be denominator. Right here also it will be denominator. If you bring this b to the yellow letter, it will go to the green letter. Then you can cancel this b and b. Okay. So this b and this b is going to get cancelled. Is it clear? Okay. Then y one into b one. Minus y one into y one, which is equal to minus y two into b two, minus into minus plus y two into y two. Okay. Now just bring this minus y one y one to the R S side, then it will become plus. And here minus y two b two to the L S side, then it will become plus. So after transforming the terms, we can write y one v one. Okay. When it comes to this side, plus y two v two, which is equal to this minus y one v one. So when it goes that side, it will become plus y one v one plus y two v two. So what it is? The final momentum of the body A plus the final momentum of the body B. 
इनिशियल मोमेंटम ऑफ द बॉडी ए प्लस इनिशियल मोमेंटम ऑफ द बॉडी बी ओके सो हियर द सम ऑफ फाइनल मोमेंटम ऑफ ए एंड बी और सम ऑफ फाइनल मोमेंटा मोमेंटा मींस प्लूरल मोमेंटम मींस सिंगुलर हियर द सम ऑफ फाइनल मोमेंटा ऑफ द ए एंड बी इज नथिंग बट द टोटल मोमेंटम ऑफ द सिस्टम ऑफ टू बॉडीज right so here initial momentum of a and plus initial momentum of b means sum of moment of a and b before collision means the total momentum of system of two bodies before collision right this indicates the total momentum of system before collision this indicates the total momentum of system after collision and we have to hold both ways equal both ways equal So take a screenshot and uh, note it in your notes. Write it in your notes. 